And we are live and direct. Yeah. Yeah. One zero two one one five 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 four three. Gonna say it like this. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna talk like this. One day. One time. One man. One ant. One mission. You do that better than me. That that uh, movie voice. I do. Yeah. It's weird. Is it? Yeah. You sound very quiet. You look very quiet on our waveforms there. That's because... What if I do that? Oh, yeah, it's because you were going... Oh, yeah. Waveforms. That's my turned on voice, by the way. That's what I'm doing. I'm turned on. God, I, I, I look, I em, feel I look him in eye. I feel for you, Tor. I look, I look <laughs> him in eye. And I go a little American. A little what? American. Oh. I'm going to stop doing that. That's annoying myself. Is it American? American. I said a miracle. I'm in a weird mood, by the way. <laughs> Shit could get weird today. Okay. Um, yes, I've had, uh, I had two coffees, so about half one. What time is it now? 4.30? Uh, 4.30. I was very hyper about two hours ago. Now I've got like a, I think I've had like an adrenaline dump, man. I'm just An uh, adrenaline dump? Yeah, man. You know, you're like really like hyper and then you just, you have a little... A little dump, man. I had a little adrenaline dump just before we started <laughs> this as well. <laughs> you didn't have an adrenaline dump. Just a dump. Just a straight old fashioned dump. <laughs> so bad. Yeah, I was oh, talking. Man. You know, I remember that guy. I'm not going to put his name out there. Why did you he go very. Say, you know what about that guy? Literally just said that. You remember that guy? <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm just trying. I'm in a to, weird mood, I'm bro. trying to just put a little bit of like character into this Go on, mate. week you know people have been complaining in the comment section that they our have. voice is very monotone we don't we don't that's why we started off deep now we've gone hi i can go hi and, and i can, can go, go low. low carry on can't remember what i was gonna say oh yeah that yeah, guy he said he used it. to have a wank whilst having a shit who said that a guy used to wank while shitting no nah, and you know the guy i'm just not gonna say his name because it? it's just like a little bit like i'm with you yeah, yeah. But it's like, how are you going to wank while pooing? Are we just going there straight away? Like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> all right, let's... Uh, See, let's, I let's, thought let's I would... No, no, no. I, some more interesting I subjects. thought I was the day. You, know, you just went straight there. Yeah, I was just wondering, because... Yeah. Wow. Sorry, listeners, for it's that. A strange time to get turned on. It's like those dudes who bang, like... Yeah, do you know what dead the animal, There was that guy who banged, like, dead chickens and stuff. He's like... What, how are you getting hard Have I a dead chicken in your hand? Have I told the story on here about the uh, the girl who had the... Um, the yes, f- like f- I think at least <laughs> two or three times. On here? Mm-hmm. Have I? Yeah. God. Let's say it again. <laughs> the God. viewers love it. Episode 16 is here and I have nothing left to give, guys. You've heard my life. I'm gonna. This, this may be the last podcast. My life, my life, my life, Not my life. To give. I've, got a, um, I've got a the job interview on Tuesday. You could be a bit happier for me, mate, you know? <laughs> nah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, job interview on uh, Tuesday. Let's let's hope they don't find this podcast, eh? Mm. Oh, imagine mm. it was mm. a fake job. Mm. He was a secret nipple maniac fan. He kidnaps me. Oh, that would be super cool. And he makes me do a podcast in his basement tied up. The nipplers won't be happy because then I've got to carry the ship alone. And we, and we all know how that goes. We saw how that went. Oh, me and my brother re listens. I never re listen to these. We re listen to that the uh, like ten mm. minutes. Oh man, I was dying. Gold, yeah. Mm. Gold. Comedy gold. You're welcome, Hans. I think I swallowed a fucking bit of foam off the microphone. Uh yeah, that was quality. What episode was that? It's the fourteen. I think it might be episode fifteen, you know. Alright, fifteen, the last twenty minutes. Golden guys. Absolutely golden. Golden. It's the golden ratio. <laughs> it really was, man. Going back to poos, yeah. Do you remember like... Uh, oh, we're, we're back. Back to poos. Um, do you remember like the waffle stomp? Have you ever tried the waffle stomp? It's really vile. Have you ever tried it? No. I just did the name. Just from you saying that, I know it's vile. But do you know what it is? No, it's vile though, isn't it? But yeah, but I don't know. I've never tried it. Oh, we've got our homepage. SoundCloud. I see, I forget we're on SoundCloud. Once a cabin boy, always a cabin boy. Episode 15. Great picture. Great picture. That was a classic. I had night. gains back in the day, bro. I think we look like a couple of heroin addicts, personally. But That's not a skinny arm, is it? 
it's pretty skinny. Yeah. Skinny, it's not that skinny. It's not like those pictures of James. When he I wouldn't there. look at you and be like, oh my god, you're a skinny, you're a freak. But nor would I look at you and think that guy's wham. No, but you look at him and think, God, that guy could handle himself in a ruckus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Really? Wow. Really? 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 We haven't edited this. What? Really? Not at all. Really? Three, two, one, Tom. Say really. Really? 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 All right. We didn't just cut out a phone call that didn't work well on air. Sorry about that, Ryan. We tried to give it to you, man. We did. We tried to keep you in. But you know, Ryan's a first timer on air, man. We're, we're veterans. Seasoned yes. vets, man. Seasoned. They call seasoned. me the seasoned vet. I feel like we should keep that in the outtakes. So. The At out- the end, that outtake have show that we have, yeah. Yeah, guys, if you haven't been watching the uh, anti It's on MTV, extra, Monday, 6.30. Yeah. Prime spot, I guess. So it's mm-hmm. just it's, called, the it's called the milky nipple. The whole show was too real, so they said, we're just going to take the outtakes. <laughs> too real, bro. Too real. It's we're bringing real. the truth. Can you... Your foot's touching me. Sorry, man. I'm going to need that moved. Thank you. The sexual tension <laughs> between me and you is unbearable at times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, man, what's new, bro? Talk to me. You know... How's life? Cruising, bro. Just cruising. Just cruising, you know. It's not like I was contemplating suicide yesterday. (laughs) Oh, we're going down that path, yeah? We're going down that road, are we? (laughs) Tell us, man. Talk. Open up, bro. You never open up anymore. (laughs) You never open up. (laughs) Look, man. You know, life's hard. It's hard work being working part-time and not having to pay any (laughs) bills. What did you say to me when you uh, you were talking about something? You go... uh, you said something about like white privilege. Oh, that was it. Your panic on the podcast, the last one. Yeah, it was and the most stressful like, time uh, of my life. Yeah, and you're like, hashtag white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Do you want to go check out Jordan Jordan Pearson, I believe it is? He actually disproves white white privilege. Jordan Pearson. Why is does he, what do you mean disproves it? Well, he just says it's not a thing, isn't it? I'm going to need, I'm going to need more. Give it to me. Is it Jordan Pearson? It's not Jordan Pearson. It's Jordan. It's not, it's not like us to give out wrong facts, is it, mate? Yeah, yeah it's Jordan Peterson. Jordan yeah, Peterson. Jordan Peterson. Right, I'm listening. Who just tried to enter the domain? God. Who was that? <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to? <laughs> You're welcome to come in. Um, All right, there, Paul K. Paul K. Hi. All right, Paul K. Mr. K. Oh, I feel like he's bringing a seat over. Oh, I thought you were coming and joining oh, guests. Don't, don't tease. I thought don't, you were guesting. Don't tease the fans. Guest ghosting. Yeah, Ghost guesting. Yeah, I mean, we got a third mic. It's all doable. All right. Well, uh, next episode, guys. Paul K, comedy heavyweight. <coughs> comedy heavyweight. The man. Featherweight. The man they've all been waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, yes, yes. Are you eating yes. with us? What no, you I'm going to... i got to start at 7.30, so... That's close to the mic. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, yeah, seven thirty. So I got. I've got to probably leave the house at around seven. Okay. So I might. I might catch some guests, but that's about it. Great cast, guys. Thanks, bro. Cheers, bro. Take it easy, man. When you come down, can you bring down those, those two chairs? What two chairs? Yes, yes, yes. That can be done. Yes. Bye. Bye, bye there. Goodbye now, sir. God, Excellent. They, they don't want us now. Who? The fans, man. Why? They want. They want the man of the hour. Well. Guys, we've had two guests on today. <laughs> <laughs> well, one to them. Ryan didn't make the cut. Oh, yeah, Ryan got cut out. This part should probably get cut out, but there you go. Mm. You know, we give you we give you live, direct. This is what we're dealing with, guys. And you know, there's fans coming in. They're coming fans in, they're ringing, calling. They're coming, we you know, bombarded. So I've got sun in my eyes. The sun clearly wants a bit now. We we shriek professionalism on this podcast, mate. We what? Shriek? Shriek it. What, like... <laughs> Ooh. That's a shriek. That is a shriek. Tell us about Jordan Peterson, bro. In fact, don't. I don't even want to hear. Don't even want to hear. He's an interesting fella. I feel like dropping this fart into the mic just to swerve the conversation. Really? Um, That's how strongly you feel. He's a, ki- he's a clinical psychologist from Canada. Mm. But I feel like you you haven't prepared this. So we're going to be reading off Wiki. Uh, give me a little snippet of his work. You've read it, so you tell us. Oh, no, no, because I've just been watching interviews with him lately. Right, so give us the Wait, the, the gist of it, he's just got, he, he's kind of got into the main, into like, ugh, what's to say, current right now, yeah? Mm. Because there's a, a law that passed in Canada saying that you've got to refer to 
trans people with certain nouns, right? So now they've got like the, they, these, they've got like their new words. So instead of he and she, they want to be referred to by their own nouns. Okay. And it's passed in Canada. Right. And what do you mean, pa- like, like it's a law. It's a law you or they're trying. Either they, tr- I think they're trying to make it a law, but I have a feeling that it's coming very close to being solidified, isn't it? But how can you make right? Go on, I'm listening. Um. Anyway, so he's gone viral because he's refusing to use these words, and he's saying like, "You can't. Mm-hmm. This is like super extreme left, and you can't make me." A bit like Ben Shapiro, he refuses to call um a transgender like a she. He says he. Yeah. So he's having a debate with this woman. He's like, it's a bit so like he's that. But he's saying, by law, I refuse to include it into like my linguistic vocabulary. So like, I'm not gonna if I'm giving a lecture, mm. and I'm then I'm gonna say he or she, ladies, like, gentlemen. And, so what are you supposed to say, like ladies, gentlemen, and they? Something like that. But don't they want to be referred to as a lady? Huh? No, because some of them don't don't necessarily affiliate with a gender right, they're okay. like genderless didn't you tell me of something about on the tube now they're gonna have to say like yeah yeah what was that they're gonna have to say, i can't remember what it was it's something like everyone instead of ladies and gentlemen or something it's like good morning everyone instead of good morning ladies and gentlemen you know that sort of vibe what do you think about that i think it is semi-ridiculous but at the okay. same time it's like whatever i couldn't care less just mm. turn it to everybody i wouldn't i'm, I'm not going to complain and ask for you to bring it back to the ladies and gentlemen so i'm fine with it whatever i got into a conversation but don't ever have a go at me if i'm if we're speaking on this podcast mm. and we see someone who identifies as a woman but is a guy and i call him a him yeah i would i would refuse to ever take responsibility for that being like offensive you would say she though right or would you not say she like if you saw a trans person, you'd be like, oh, she, you call her a she, or what would you call her? You would say she, no? They clearly look like a girl, than a she, I guess. I don't know, man. Like, unless they asked me. So then you're... you're, you're no, you're, I'm saying unless they ask me directly, I'm not exactly going to... No, I'm saying... No, I'm, I'm just going to say whatever comes to mind. I'm not going to think too much about what they want to be called. I'm with you. But then, so that means you're, you're, um, you're deciding on if you call them a he or she based on... Um, how much they look like a woman. It, it's based on what my brain thinks when I look at them. So if I look at you and you look like a bloke, then my brain's going to think, that's a he. So I'm going to say, oh, he said this. You know what I mean? I'm not going to think, oh, wait a minute, does he does he identify as a woman though? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, I think if they he does, do. tell me, innit? Oh, yeah, they do, for sure. I don't think anyone no, dresses a woman and then says, yeah, call me a he. I think that's that's that. Do you know what I mean? They they identify as a woman. Look, if you ain't going to put no effort in, yeah? If you've just stuck a wig on, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you ain't a she. You're a bloke with a wig, <laughs> all right? If you've gone through the effort of doing this mad makeup contour, you've strapped your cock to your gooch, you know what I mean? Then then okay, innit? Then I'm like, all right, she. Clearly, you, <laughs> you've made the effort. <laughs> so so I'll, uh, I'll entertain it, innit? Entertain is probably a rude thing to say, but still. You get my vibe here. Ooh. But anyway, he's got in trouble because people are like, oh, you're refusing to call people. And he's going, nah, I just refuse to just use it in general statements. If someone specifically came up to me and said, I'd like you to call me a she, you then would. he'd be like, yeah, of course I would. But I'm not just going to address my entire class this and that. And they're going, well, but then what gives you the right to possibly offend someone in the audience? And he was like, well, you've just been berating me with questions. So what gives you the right to possibly offend me? That mm. it, there is no right here. You're just trying to figure out what's going on. So you're allowed to ask questions or say what you want. As long one as there's th- no intent there. One thing I was going to say is I got, I got into a conversation about this the other day. I was watching that two-part thing about the, the Westminster Baptist Church. Right. So it's like, it's basically like, well, you know what it is, but it's basically like a... Um, they're famous for like preaching hate and using like really offensive signs and they believe that everyone's going to hell but their church which now has about 28 members left I think. Is that it? So, yeah, well they had like 50 and they all, start, all the kids have started dropping out now so so basically when they I don't why. So one of the girls for example went to Costa Rica wore a bikini came back had a picture her dad or granddad like saw it held like a meeting and they were like, you can't do that. And she was like, why? And now they disowned her, don't speak to her. So if you leave the church, you're considered dead to them. Yeah. yeah. So it's pretty like weird. And they hold up these sites. Like they go to soldiers' funerals. 
and like pick it and they like they're like oh if you get cancer it's your fault like they're like we celebrate when people die it's just like really glenn hoddle's classic uh chime yeah to, uh, <laughs> pretty much yeah but it's just like hateful shit anyway and um i was saying to people it's funny like say you were like really against gay marriage yeah hmm. like so you just thought it was wrong yeah like I don't agree with that, but say that's your opinion. I don't get people to feel the constant need to press their opinions onto someone else. So say, for example, you're like, I hate gay, or I'm like, I hate gay marriage. I think it's wrong. I'm not going to, like, why do you have to like, go out and sort of like, like, just, they're just trying to live their life. Do you know what I mean? Just leave, like, you don't have to agree with it, but why mm-hmm. do you have to actively, like, pursue them and try and, like, be negative towards it? I just don't get that. Like. Because that's how some people notch down a win, isn't it? By changing someone's mind. I guess to some extent, like, but then like, see, even to for them, like, are you going to change someone's mind, like, by going to their funeral and holding up a sign saying, "We're glad you're dead"? Like, are you going to change anyone's mind, like, or are you just like, I don't understand that. What? So they go to these soldiers' funerals who have died in America, and they're like, "You deserve to die. God killed you because you're fighting for America." Like, da, da, da. America. They're crazy, man. Have you not seen the documentary about them? Yeah, but that's different. They're not trying to get anyone to agree with them, bro. They're just trying to. Well, they kind of are dicks. like they kind of are though. Like the guy when she stops him, he's like, "You yeah, know, I'm trying to dis- tell you the word of God." Like they're all insane. W- th- weirdly, yeah, one of their members is a guy who went there to um, to film a documentary and ended up getting wrapped up in it, and now mm. he's like balls deep in the whole like culture. Mm. Like moved his family out there. His daughter left. She was like, some people they did like a separate interview of her yeah she's like crying she's like i never see my parents da, da, da. and she's like some people lose their parents to cancer or a car accident she's like i lost mine to a cult i was like, kind of sad man yeah that is sad but freaky though should we start a cult i mean i'm kind of down the ant cult the ant cult mm. the ants we could be like fucking you have to believe you're an ant otherwise we disown uh, you what little worker ant they're all lawyers as well. This you're was damn really right. You're a fucking better believe you're an ant. You're This was really strange. Loads of them are lawyers. So they're obviously like intelligent people, you know? And there was a court case against them and they like all like yeah, work for themselves. Just, they're all lawyers. I can't trust these people, man. I wouldn't be hiring yeah, you as a lawyer. Yeah, that's what I said. That if you've got these mad ass views. Well, like, they think you're going to hell. Like they're working for you, but they think you deserve to die and go to hell. You know what? I kind of find that to be the root of most religions though. most religions believe that they that whatever they believe in is right and what everyone else believes in is kind of wrong and they believe yeah but they're not preaching that you die and that you fucking they're not celebrating death and it's like like Christianity is like love thy neighbour like if you walked into yeah, a but what are you just talking about is a Christian is a Christian church is it I imagine so I don't think it is what is it then it's, th- it's called the Westminster Baptist Church yeah, but what is that? Not Christian? No. What is it? Protestant? I think it's a whole se- Look it up. I think it's like a whole separate thing, though. Like, I don't. F- I, I imagine they consider. They're not preaching Christianity, trust me. They're, they're, there's like a whole other. Westminster Baptist, Baptist Church. Baptist Church. Mm-hmm. Um, it their, their homepage is called uh, something like death to fags.com. Or, or God hates fags dot com or something crazy. Their homepage is called Westminster Baptist Church dot co dot uk. No, that's not. <laughs> yeah, no. no, I'll show you. There's a different one. I'll tell you exactly what it's called. <laughs> I like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's of course this is Christian, bro. Either way, they're reading the Bible, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, look. So it's either Christian. Their or main website is called Look George www dot God hates fags dot com. See the bottom one down. Yeah, I went on it after I watched yeah, it. Yeah, I see that. Let's have a look at this. It shit. doesn't pop up on Google here, though. Look. You might have like an ad blocker on or something. Huh. Strange. Why have I got to prove my age? Fuck you, O2. Strange. But yeah, whatever they're preaching. You know what I mean? It's, I don't f- they're just mm-hmm. extreme. They're insane. Nah, Has it got a five star on, rating oh, on uh, a Google? Yeah, it does. Yeah, at 4.5. Really nice. But place. only got six six reviews. I imagine Calm down. Really good. Place. <laughs> You're just nuts. Um, oh, what's jokes about? There's a little Chinese guy in the back. And he's like, I want to join the church, but uh, I cannot stop doing certain things. Like, talking, you're not allowed to have sex, are that Unless you, I think they're like, you're in, not I think allowed to have sex. So, so their church will end at the end of the next generation. <laughs> well, you can have sex if you're married, but you're never. This is what's so hypocritical. So, all the older people in the church are married with kids, yeah. 
but they say that their kids aren't allowed to get married or have kids themselves. Very bizarre. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Well, I yeah, guess they're hoping other people. But don't join. you think that is? Sorry, I'm coming back to this because I need you to agree with me because I'm one of those people. Um, that is the basis of most religions. No. What hate? No fear. Um, fear generates hate. I mean, you can't compare these lot to most religions, no. I think you can. Really? I well, know. I think I think the whole the whole thing of if you walk, I into believe a in this, and da 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 da, and I go to heaven for believing in this, right? Yeah. Is and it's not supposed to be easy, right? It's supposed to be you're supposed to commit yourself to this, and as a reward, right, you get to go to heaven. Right, so it would defeat the object of believing in your religion if you believe that everyone gets to go to heaven, because then you'd just be like, "All right, whatever." Then I don't have to do all this. Well, I can't comment because I don't know enough about different religions. But if you walked into a Christian church down the road now, they'd let you in, and you could sit there and you could attend a service. They're not going to kick you out. No, of course not. Yeah, these people would kick you out. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm it. saying. All right, yeah, it's a different extreme. Don't yeah, get me wrong, but at the way co- more extreme. Yeah, but at the core of it. That do good and fucking Christian bloke who's like, oh yeah, da, 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 like love, love everyone, blah blah blah. He still thinks that what he's doing is 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 right compared to what. Yeah, it's just you have different beliefs. That's fine. You're yeah, blo- but then he thinks that you're going to eternal hellfire. Maybe. He does. Not necessarily. Why not? Because not everyone. People take. I think people take from religion what they want to take from it. Like if you look at a lot of people who turn to religion like later on in life is because of um like a tragedy or something so uh, for example i i might uh i'm technically christian Mm. right i don't Mm. believe in god Mm. but i'm technically christian Mm. i could take certain things from that religion and not others like i might not necessarily believe you're jewish so you're gonna die in hell but i might just take certain values of that religion Like not everyone is fully believes everything from that religion who is part of that religion do you know what I mean? Like my mum goes to church like once a year at Christmas. Like mm. she doesn't believe because you're Jewish you're going to hell. But she likes that aspect of like helping out. And she likes the community part, yeah. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of people that like in everything there's just, just different beliefs I think. Yeah, but it's different. If you're, okay, yeah. If you're doing it for communal reasons mm. then yeah, that's one thing. Yeah. But, but like you could have, so example, my, my grandma, she she used to go to church like every Sunday she believed in God. She believed in like right and wrong and blah, 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 blah. But like she doesn't, she didn't have like any hate towards anyone, you know? She did, She said, oh, there's different religions. Yeah, they but that's the that. thing. Most religions don't have that outward hate. You're not going to just see someone then being really hateful to everyone, right? Mm. But what they're keeping inside is this safe little sanctum where they think, I'm doing the right thing. I'll be, I'll be rewarded for this. But then that's the everyone same. But that's not just religion. That. That's the same in, in all walks of life. Like you're, we're all doing... To well, all a large majority of us are doing what we believe is the right way to live life. No, like is that any different from when you say, oh, "I want, I really want to go traveling"? That's because you no. believe in life is it's good to like see the world and travel. And there's another guy who couldn't give a shit about that, and he wants to live his life trying to make money, and it's all different. Yeah, but I'm doing that out of a fear of not getting to see everything before I die, right? Most people are but it doesn't doing matter their why religious you're doing thing. It, though. Yeah, That's it does. Why though? What do you Be- mean? The reason is is reasoning is is the core factor to everything. Yeah, but no, not this. No, but what I'm saying is my point is everyone has different beliefs and different thought systems, which are usually um, as a result of like experiences, right? Mm. So disregard why. It doesn't matter why. Like something might have happened to you why you want to travel. What do you mean doesn't disregard matter. why? Why is the because question? We can, no, because we can get into why. We can get into the why. But what I'm saying is you're arguing that this religion is the same as every other religion. At its religion. core, yeah. I don't believe that's true. Don't give me your eyes, bro. Yeah. Uh, well, but I mean... Of course, it comes... Look, at the end of the day, right, a consequence, yeah, oh. is... Com- it is. It can be whatever it can be. It could still come from the same thing, right? Two people will react differently to the same reason. So you're arguing the that reason at the is core, still going to be. But you're so what you're. Are you saying that at the core of every religion, every religion is the same? Yeah. So that's what you're. A hundred percent. So I agree with that. Huh? So I I agree with you on that point. Okay. So I I agree 
that religion is um like a form of like control um and like we don't have to get into too deep but i what i'm trying to say is i just think that not everyone that is christian believes that everyone else is going to hell not every muslim believes everyone else is going to hell in my opinion i think people um you, like religion can be interpreted but then what is the point what do you mean what's the point if you if you what's the point in what in in following in, that religion yeah what's the point of praying nine times a day if you think that you will get the same consequence if you don't well i'd imagine someone that prays nine times a day is believes what you're saying damn right they do yeah i i wouldn't discount that what i'm saying is i think a lot of people you can be religious and not think everyone else is going community. to help. Don't get me wrong, yeah. A loads lot of, people... of reasons, not just that. There's a there's a whole load of variables, man, like that come into it. There's loads of it. Loads yeah, but of when you say, "Oh, someone might have," what did you say before? Someone might have died in their family or something. A lot of people turn to religion in hard times in later life. You see that loads of times. Yeah, and that's purely out of fear. Is it? Of course it is. Why though? What do you, uh, what? Because they're shit scared of dying, bro. No, and they don't know what the fuck. And if you don't that believe in God, then you're just part. Then you just get eaten right, let, by the worms me, and feed the ground. Let me give you an example. Right? Otherwise, so, you're yeah, go on. Let me give you an example. This is just off the top of my head. There's a bunch of examples, but all right, go on, mate. Say, <laughs> say for example, um, you're 22 and your family die in a car crash. Right. And you don't know who to turn to. Mm. You're fucked up. Blah blah blah. You might go to church and then you might find some comfort in that. That's not a fear thing. You're not scared of dying. Of course it's a fucking fear thing. Why what is it else a fear is it? thing? What else would it be? You're looking for like a form of reasoning or a form of like support. All There's right. plenty of... Uh, so support, yeah? So yeah. why would you have to go to support to someone who talks absolute bollocks? Why wouldn't you go to su- to your mates? Or why wouldn't you go to, to, to a bunch of people who know you and talk about... Well, they might not have anyone else. It's a very hypothetical situation. Not really. I don't think so. No? No. Everyone in my family died, so I've decided... And and I have no no friends, so I go to to the church... No, it's not that. ...to seek some companionship. Not not everyone can speak to their friends about that kind of thing. What kind of thing? But they can speak to a fucking dude who's been getting head off a 12-year-old for the last 40 years. Oh, God. It's not about speaking to. It's about... Like, you don't have to speak. You could go to church and you might find comfort in that. It's not... But what are you finding comfort in? Come on. It's, uh, What's giving you the comfort? Well, if you let me fucking speak, go on. Well, you might. This is when you walk into my trap. Why? Why am I walking? What's, go on. I don't want to walk him, in now. No, but go on. What's giving them the comfort? I What's feel, comforting about I, being there? I feel like a uh, like I'm pouring the trap. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to make the trap snap. <laughs> go on. What's what's comforting? Then? Well, I I've never done it, so I don't know. But I could guess. Well, it might. Theorize. You might be looking for some form of reasoning as to Reason why it happened. What? As for to, why they died. To why whatever tragedy happened, yeah. Okay. So that that's one reason. So, but then why would you be? When why some, would you need a reason for something happening? W- w- why not? If something fucked, something like that, that's quite yeah, like a tragedy happens in your life. Yeah. A lot of the time, people so can't understand why that would happen. Like you see all the time, people are like, oh, why would you see people like say, oh, uh, how could God allow? But why would it bother them so much that that something like this could happen randomly? Why? What? What do you mean? Why would it bother them? If they are looking for a reason why this happened, yeah. yeah. Why would it? Why? Why is it? Why would they not want to believe that this was just a freak accident? Well, it might be hard for them to. You're not when something like that happens. You're not always thinking logically, are you? No, exactly. That's why you go to religion. Mm. I know. I just That's don't why think you would go to religion. I'm, I'm, I'm arguing this point. I'm not religious at all. And you, I don't even believe yeah, no, in God. No, no, but I can just still see why people do it. I don't think you have to shun all religions. Like, Sorry, I'm turning around. It's just pure fear, bro. Pure fear. I know what you're saying. I know what it's I, pure I just fear. I it's, oh God, what I can die for no reason and then that's it. I, there's nothing else after this and I'm just gone. Yeah, I think it's oh, that no. for some people. Definitely. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Some people will will be part of religion for the fear of going to hell or fear of not or whatever. It it's not be. going to hell. It's a fear of not knowing, bro. They are afraid yeah. of the fact. That it's the ego. They are afraid of the fact that they stop existing. Yeah. What I'm, you want to carry? You want to believe that you go on somewhere else and do something else. You don't want to think yeah. that that's it. 
But yeah, but this is what I'm saying. I'm I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just saying that not everyone will have that fear. That's not why every single person in this world is religious because they're scared of dying. That that you can't say that. That's a generalization. There's there's so many different reasons. That's my point. I'm not I'm not disagreeing. There's definitely someone out there that's fearful of 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 uh, whatever they're feared of, so they turn to religion. Like definitely. I think the core of religion is fear of death. Maybe. It's debatable, how, but maybe. How, what, how else can you... But can you not see that that Why might else would not, people can, start can, acting by a set of can rules? Can you not see that that might be incorrect, though? Like, that's up for debate, right? It's up for debate, but I haven't yeah. heard a better argument. Well, I'm not... Of why why someone would... Why, on such a mass scale, people would follow religion. What do they all have in common? They're shit scared of dying. Well, maybe not necessarily dying. Yeah, dying. What else? Well, it's the f- the thought of after you've gone there being... It's the thought of after dying. It's not actually no, no, dying. There's nothing, right? Yeah, but no one's afraid of what happened before they were born. Because they weren't born. Huh? What do you mean? What? Say that again? I'm saying no one's afraid of what happened before they were born. It's just nothingness, right? It's the exact same state as after death. Right. If you believe that, yeah. Believe what? Well, some people don't believe that. Because that scares the shit out of them. No, no, not necessarily. I don't think. I don't think that's true either. Just because you believe, so it doesn't have to be all based on fear. Some people will believe it and not be scared. Not be scared of what? Of whatever you're saying they're scared of. Like, there's not of the billions of people that follow religion. You think every single one of them is following religion because they're scared of dying? I think the massive majority. Is, Give yeah. me a percentage. 95. Oh, God, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. I thought you were going to go 70, and I was no, going to be like, oh, that's high. 95. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know. It's just like, what? What? what is the core of all religion? Heaven and hell. Really? Yeah? How, I can't how comment. Sh- I don't no, know enough no, about no, religion. What is the core of all religion? This is know. how you should act, yeah, mm-hmm. in order to get to heaven. That is the core of religion. Right. Do this, do that, and you're granted eternal pleasure in heaven. Mm-hmm. That's the core of it. God, he's right. You know what I mean? It, it, it's follow these rules, <laughs> yeah, and then all this will happen. And everything all will this be fine after happen. that. In that bit where you don't know what's going to happen. So then this uh, comes back to what I said. It's about control. It's about control. It's a way of for those controlling who, a mass for those for those who took it on fully to 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 like lead it. It is, of course, it is. Yeah. It's an amazing social control. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Of millions, billions. Yeah, of people. that's the people who run it. The pe- and they're and and they're ninety ninety nine percent of the time they ain't fucking religious. Who? The people running it. Oh, you know what I mean. If you are if you are a priest, yeah, and we know how many priests are being getting noshed off by twelve year old boys, yeah. You don't think that's going to get you into heaven, but you're still doing it well, it's because a you're abusing. Of power. Because you found your way somewhere to abuse and to get what you want out. But of that it. comes back to what we were just talk about. Um, <clears throat> with Harvey Weinstein and all that. It's, a, it's about abusing your position of power. Yeah. You see that so much. Yeah, right? and then, but yeah, okay, but he's the priest, right? And all those girls who noshed him off, mm. they're the followers who were shit scared of their career not taking off and them not getting what they think they should get in life. So they do it. Or they do it from embarrassment. What embarrassment? And people not, or people not believing them. Do what? Um, are we going? Are we talking about Harvey Weinstein? Yeah, we? yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the they're not going to nosh him off because people don't believe that he, they're going to nosh him off. No, what I'm saying is, um, like people who didn't come forward, yeah, because they thought people wouldn't believe them. Yeah, but I wasn't talking about the people about the the coming out about it. It's oh, the, re- right, okay. it's the people. It, it, why would you do it? Because you're afraid that, or it's a ego because you think you deserve something better, so you're like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna do that," so I get what I need to get. Or B, it's fear of I'm not gonna get what I get unless I do this. Yeah, but it's also a scary situation to be in if you're a woman. Like you don't know what's gonna happen if you say no. For sure. Like you could, if he comes out butt naked, you're like, "Oh shit, no!" You don't know what he's gonna do. Like he's a fucking. It could be from fear. You know what I mean, yeah, of course it's from fear. Mm. It is from fear. That's mm. the whole. That's what we're getting at. That's the whole argument. We're all fear. feared. 
Yeah, but there's a different time. There's a different fear between um, fearing after life and fearing a massive bloke who could potentially fuck you up. Yeah, but it's fear of the unknown. But it's not the unknown. That's it. They don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> it's not <coughs> unknown though. Well, you, he's it, there's not been one case where they talked about him hitting anyone for saying no. As I was saying, if you get, so if they, you, just, if they you, don't know. They, if you walked just, out of here now, if you walked out of here now and there was a a lion in your hallway, yeah, yeah you'd be scared, right? Yeah. Well, why would you be scared? Because I don't know what's going to happen there. Because I could die and I could not. Okay, but you're, that's a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's a logical reason to be scared. That's what I'm saying. It's not really like the fear. Yeah. Fear of the unknown is like not knowing what's going to happen. If you see a big ass fucking lion, you're sc- rightfully scared. Death is the big ass lion. It is inevitable. It's not a maybe. Yeah, we're all scared of it. It's not like a fear of the unknown in a general sense. It is a fear of something that's guaranteed, I don't think we're but all behind scared of it dying. is unknown. I don't think we're all scared of. I'm not scared of dying. But you're not religious. Oh, so you're talking about religious people are scared of dying? Yeah, uh, yeah. I yeah. I I just. And also, I don't we, think what you're saying is wrong. I just think you're generalizing too much. I don't think anything you're saying is necessarily wrong. I just think you're you're putting everyone in the same bracket and I don't think that's right. That's where I disagree with you. Mm, mm, I agree mm, with 75% mm. of what but you're I saying. But I haven't put everyone in the same bracket. I said some people do it for community. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. At the end of the day, you don't know what everyone's thinking. But I'm saying people who fully buy it, mm. if you f- I don't know who what percentage of people are fully bu- are in their mind, this is guaranteed. You're talking 100%. True. Live their life to the letter of the law of that religion. Not just that, won't accept anyone else. That's the people you're saying, right? Not just that. I'm talking about anyone who sort of believes it, though. Anyone who's made space in their brain to allow this ridiculous option to occupy a substantial portion of their thinking is doing that because they're shit scared. I don't know. There's no other reason for it. There's no proof. But what if you take... Okay, so let me let me give you an example mm-hmm. and you tell me what you think of this person. Okay. I'm, this is hypothetical. All right. So there's a 80-year-old lady right. who lives on my road. Yeah. This is hypothetical. Okay. Uh, her husband dies. Right. She's always been... She goes to church like every Sunday, whatever. Like mm-hmm. blah, blah. She goes to church a little bit more now, a couple of days in a week. So she starts going three times a week because mm-hmm. she's lonely. Yeah. She has no one really to like spend time with company. Okay. And she gets more into like praying. She gets more into like learning about that religion, mm-hmm. and it occupies her time. Okay. Okay. What's well, so? Why is she going to church then? Well, she's been going for years. Yeah, she's been going once a week for years. She's not particularly hugely religious. She just goes because, like, again, she likes the community. Well, like I said, I can't tell you what's going on inside her brain. She is either doing it for the community mm. because we know that that makes you happy being yeah. part of a community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's fine. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Or, and company as well. Yeah, community, company, so mm-hmm. relationships, isn't it? Yeah, good, good relationship, positive relationships in life. Yep. Um, or she's doing it because she's afraid. So let me ask you this: as Well, do you think? And and when you say her husband just died again, that gives you the two path, right? Either she's more lonely, so she needs more company, mm-hmm. or she's suddenly like, oh my god, he's died, he's not here. That scares her. The mm-hmm. idea of when that happens to her. So do you do you think you can um, learn good values from a religion without thinking everyone else is going to hell and without being scared of death? Do you think you could just teach someone good values, right and wrong, without them being scared of dying? Huh? So do you, say you had a kid, yeah? Right. <clears throat> or not you, because you don't believe in religion. But say someone kid and they just think, oh, I want to teach my son like good values. Right. Like... Okay, so you do a bit of reason. You say, okay, Christianity, they've got some good values. Right. Like the, the is it the Ten Commandments? They have the Ten Commandments. Right. Yeah. So say you look at it, oh, that's a good message to teach my kid, mm-hmm. right? So you take him along to little old... There's uh, actually gen- about 400 commandments. Or whatever there is. ten. Yeah, okay, whatever there is. So like you, what I'm saying is, do you think uh, you can learn some good values from religion... Uh, without sort of that sort of fear and that negative aspect that you believe religion has. Yeah, but I also think that if you're a logical person, 
there's absolutely no need for the religion to be involved in that. You just teach them good values. I agree. Values comes down to common sense. No, I agree. When religion comes in, it then rewards good values with heaven, yeah, and punishes bad values with hell. Mm -hmm. So it just adds these two mythical things to try and make sure you do the good things and not the bad things. Mm-hmm. Right, the the values were there before. Religion just really introduced heaven and hell, mainly. Yeah, well, va- well, the values were there before, but values people, changed. Pe- though, right? People were being night. Ni- yeah, but people were people knew it was wrong to kill people, right? Before religion showed up. Did they? I don't know. Did they? I'm pretty sure they did. You know what I mean? A tiger, yeah, sees a little baby whatever and decides not to kill it because it's small and vulnerable, yeah? He ain't doing that because he thinks God will smite him if he does eat it. He's just got... He can well, that's feel why... Yeah, but animals try and attack kids and shit because they're not religious. <laughs> Human kids? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Human kids are fucking weird little fuckers. Oh, you're talking about animals. a tiger. Yeah, but I'm seeing. I'm saying there's there's a lot of cases where you see these animals spare the life of a baby animal that would be that they would eat. Yeah, but they'll also kill baby animals like at all times. The time. Yeah, loads of times. Yeah. So what's your argument? That there's values there that don't involve that, that religion didn't bring values along. You know, humans were living in communities for years. Yeah. Hmm. Well before religion showed up. Yeah. Okay. So when you're in that community, Mm -hmm. you ain't killing a bloke living next to you for no reason. Because you know that's wrong. Or at least, maybe it's not wrong, but it ain't right either. (laughs) Maybe it's not wrong. (laughs) It's not, because nothing means anything, right? No one says, oh, it's really wrong the way we, uh, the way you you stepped on that ant earlier. Mm. Right? Yeah. I'm so semi with you. I don't know. Relig- religion just... I mean, if we're going to go all the way back, yeah? Religion is just the story of our survival that then got turned into something else. See, I feel like you... Um, we followed the stars. Eventually, we figured out ways to live without following the stars, but we wanted to keep the tradition of how we survived. So that turned into a mythical story. Free and that became man. religion. The old wise man. Right? The sun became God. The three evening stars began the three wise men. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's all, it's all bollocks. It's not all bollocks. It's actually all... It actually all I was about to say, it's all true. It, 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 it all stems from really poignant points in our history, but it then gets turned into mythical bollocks. Mm. I don't know, man. Religion's a bitch, anyway. That's basically what I'm getting at. No. Basically, what I'm getting at is you can be a good person without religion, plus you don't think everyone else is burning in hell just because they're following the wrong religion. Yeah. I just think you should be more open to other people's um, beliefs or thoughts. That's all. I can not believe something, but I can still... I can... What's the word? I can still respect the fact that someone else believes something else without mm. like dismissing it. You can believe something different. They might be right. Uh, like maybe they are right, you know? I don't believe that either, but it's just like, you know, appreciating someone else's I can't, beliefs. I can't, I can't, I can't appreciate anyone's belief when it comes down to a bullshit book, bro. Because they ain't going to appreciate my beliefs if I told them, as far as I'm concerned, Harry Potter's a Bible, Dumbledore is God, uh, Harry Potter was Jesus, and that is the history no, of mankind. Was... But that's the equivalent. I could say the Harry Potter books but you write out the history of mankind. Because we know that J.K. Rowling wrote the Harry Potter Okay, books. and we know that some fucking, that a group of cunts that lived way separate times from each other wrote the Bible. We know that. We know God didn't write the Bible, right? No. Okay, because there's s- several instances of very different styles of grammars and mm-hmm. writing style. We know one bloke didn't write it, for sure. And we <laughs> so know... calling him blokes. <laughs> the bloke. A well, bloke. we know one bloke didn't write it. Yeah. So we definitely know one mythical, godlike creature didn't write it. Mm. 
I don't even know what they believe. I don't. I don't know who. This one said. I don't know who Look, they I can't, believe. Wrote I about. can't buy a, a bloke, a, a dude, yeah, tell, or whatever. I can't buy a human being telling me that this is this is the way it is, yeah, based on a book that actually has seven or eight like more books in its fucking. Uh, what do you call them? Uh, not sequ- passages. No, no, not like you got trilogies. You got this. You got sequel. Well, yeah, but what do you call like a big collection, collection? of books? All right, All right, so there's like eight books in this collection, yeah? Right. But they only listen to two of them. Okay, but my point is now, I've moved on to a point. My point is just when you say those cunts or it's all bollocks, like, I just think you can have different beliefs to someone. It doesn't have to mean that, do you know what I mean? Like, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Of course you can have different beliefs to someone. Like, there's definitely a, a Christian out there that's not going to go, oh, uh, you don't believe to you. Oh, you don't believe in uh, God, you're a cunt. My, po- my point is not that they're all going to say what they think. My point is that deep down, if you believe in a religion, you kind of believe in it because you feel you're going to... Whether you ever voice these opinions or not, there is a part of you that believes you're doing the right thing, therefore you will be rewarded for it. And the rest of them are not doing the right thing. That's why they won't be rewarded. And part of that whole process involves being a small group that believes in it otherwise it would be so pointless if everyone got to go to he- heaven it's an ego thing it's something to make you feel better about you as an individual but but why so but i don't understand that so you you can have uh there's plenty of people who are friends with people from different religions right i'm friends with people from different religions. yeah there you go but none of them are that religious they're born bro i'm jewish right people would describe me as jewish i ain't jewish am i I'm not. I'm not. Reli- I don't believe in God. Right? I don't practice the. Yeah, but I don't believe religious. in God. So am I Jewish or not? Jews reckon they're a race, like no. black people. No, you're not. Okay, so I'm not Jewish. But to a lot of people, I am Jewish. Right? Yasin is Muslim. He ain't Muslim though. He don't believe in God in the same way mm. that Muslims do. But he's still Muslim. Well, is he? Would he say I'm Muslim? Yeah. So then there's some part of him that believes in God. <laughs> no. If you ask me, I'd say I'm Jewish. Hmm. Interesting. I don't believe in God. Three good people have been telling me I'm Jewish all my life. <laughs> you, you will be a Jew. <laughs> so it's true, isn't it? I don't know, isn't it? Like, it's, just, it's just another little fucking description of my personality in some way, isn't it? Because when I say I'm Jewish, that to me doesn't mean I believe in God. That does, though, mean that I may know about a certain amount of tradition. Well, let me support... Let follow. me... Uh, let me, Instead of playing dev- devil's advocate, let me agree with you on one thing. So one example which supports what you're saying about fear is uh, when the parents of... Uh, I saw like a panorama about when uh, the parents... Um, of like the Muslim kids and they say I don't want to follow that religion they disown them Mm -hmm. that's another element of fear believe what we're telling you to believe or we'll disown you yeah and you're not part of the family you're not part of this community yeah that's another element of fear Mm mhm yeah which supports your uh, your thoughts yeah I mean just that every description of heaven and every religion Mm. is a clear show of fear Maybe. I just think be less dismissive. Like, I would never tell oh, they're all cunts, they're wankers. There's, you know what I mean? It's like people have different beliefs. There's nothing wrong with that. We're all allowed to have different uh, beliefs. Yeah. I, did I say they're all cunts? Mm-hmm. I'm sure I said that. I'm sure I do say things like that. But what I'm really trying to say is they're all morons. Mm, slightly less offensive, but still offensive. <laughs> 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 Look, man, it's just it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Let's move on from religion. I'm bored of it now. But yeah, I I agree with some of what you said. I disagree with other parts. It's ridiculous. We you know what would be interesting is to talk to someone who is like really religious and like re- like pick their brain. I think that'd be interesting. It wouldn't be. I've done it before. It was boring as hell. They 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 just they um, regurgitate the same information. No, I'm not. Non-stop. No, but I'm not saying like I'm not saying like um. I'm not saying it's like a fanatic, do you know what I mean? I'm saying somebody that just like has like goes to church once a week. They're not like a, they're not going to f- quote the Bible to you all day. I'm just saying like have a general chat about what they believe. Do they believe that? Be, I think that'd be interesting. Again, it comes down to the fact that they 
they think it's an outward thing, right? Most of the time. Most of these people have their own... Most people who are super religious, yeah? A lot of them are probably having wanks and doing this and doing that, yeah? Which is frowned upon in religion, right? But no one's seeing it, so it's fine, right? But if they're being confronted, someone's talk- they're always going to be nice and polite about but it. Then you're that's support- the right but way then you're to supporting be. my what I just said earlier about um, you can take aspects from a religion. You don't have to follow it to the letter of the law. No one follows it to the letter of the law. Yeah. No one does. Well, some some fucking do. Do they though? Yeah. Some do, man. <laughs> but do they? Yeah. I mean, do you know what <laughs> they do when they're in the toilet on their own? Well, that'd be weird, so no. Exactly. I don't know that anyone follows religion to a T. Well, no, neither do I, but I'm sure there is someone out there that does. Anyway, let's move on. I'm glad you enjoyed That was an interesting talk, man. Sometimes we can go interesting Look, deep, bro, innit? If you're religious, yeah. You'd be nice. Branch out, read another book, yeah? There's more than the one. Yeah? Or maybe just try and read a book that isn't ri- written by someone so super Christian or super Jewish or super Muslim, yeah? Try and read something from somewhere else because I know a lot of you don't. Um, you know, try and indulge in a bit of science, bro, because there's proof for it. Maybe uh, maybe stop uh, just, just blindly backing up a point that has zero proof. Uh, if you're Christian, maybe read some of the banned books and see what you think about the time that Jesus told the dragon to stop breathing fire on the village and, uh, and the dragon said yes, sir, and moved away. See if see if uh, Christianity still appeals to you after that. Can you imagine, yeah, if a uh, dragon? If you're Jewish, if, bro, you're a moron. If you are Jewish, if, if I'm dragons, saying, if you believe that some man split the sea and shit, come on, bro. Yeah, I agree. Let's stop gunning all religions, though. Um, Grow up. Can you? So this is a high thought. Oh, yeah. I'm just. I'm thinking a bit higher. Go on, get high on us. Imagine if dragons still existed. I watched. Uh, and how fucking terrifying it'd be, though. <clears throat> Think about that shit. Still, you're saying like they did exist. You're correct. All right, imagine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> that that dragon got moved on by Jesus. How? Imagine he was still around. <laughs> like, I think how mad that would be, though. Jesus didn't exist, bro. Can you get off the religion high? You love you love talking about religion. I love it. You're like that Absolutely weird guy. Yeah, it. you're that weird guy who. Uh, when I'm watching, it's interesting. When it I'm watching, interesting. it is interesting. When I was watching the the Westminster documentary, yeah, uh, one of the girls who walked past this guy got like really upset, and she was like crying. She was like, I think she was like a, a lesbian. Walked and, past who? Uh, the, oh, the, that the Westminster people Baptist picking. So he's got church. signs yeah, saying yeah, yeah. fags are going to hell. Da da da. And she's getting upset. She's like, yeah, but why do you? And he's like, listen, honey, you're going to hell if you're a dirty fag. And she's getting like visibly upset. Mm. And then she walks off and uh, Louis Fru says to him, like, do you get like a bit of a kick out of this? Like, do you, in- do you like my Louis Fru? Do you get a, that's bad. I had it once. So. <laughs> he goes, uh, do you get like a kick out of this? Like, are you like enjoying the reaction? And I was like, yeah. no, I'm just saying, uh, uh, but I think he kind of did. Of course he did. I think that's you on religion. You like getting your little kick. I like gunning religion. Yeah. Mm. It's fun. You're offending me and I don't believe in God. <laughs> I I mean, <laughs> religion offends me. That's the sum of it. Repeat, pe- pe- it annoys me. Yeah. Imagine people, you started picketing and being like a weirdo. It, it just annoys Imagine me you that people that get guy. their back up so hard about people gunning religion. Yeah. When religion is the root cause for ninety percent of like global deaths and shit, bro. Like they fucking oppressed, raped, pillaged, killed, fuck shit up more than anyone else on this planet. You know what I mean? And they've got an issue with people going, hey man, can we talk about it? No, we can't talk about it. But not all of them are like that. No, not all of them. Normally, like, a lot of them are very open for discussion. Open for discussion. They don't like being told that they're idiots and what they believe in is ridiculous. Mm. Yeah. That's your opinion. It's the opinion of the Lord. Hey, religious guys Lord. out there, God thinks you're an idiot. Imagine there is a god. I do always think. Imagine they're all right. I was watching when I was watching the Westminster. They're not right. But imagine uh, no was, one in in the Bible mentions the universe. It's just the Earth and the stars. Oh, when I was watching the what the, happened to the rest, bro? When I was watching the Westminster, I was like, imagine they are all right. Then all twenty three of them are like in heaven, and we're just down there, like looking like fuck, man. Like Look, I, you should watch these guys, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah, mm. they're these four very smart 
fucking philosophers, scientists, da da da. They are all staunch atheists mm. who basically talk about how religion cannot, yeah, have any like. I d- this, solidity. I agree. I don't believe in God either. Yeah. Okay. Good. You're not an idiot. I know I'm not an idiot. Yeah, fuck. I'm just saying. All I'm saying is I'm a bit more like I just respect other people's thought beliefs. That's all. Hey, bro. I ain't gonna. And say, it doesn't bother me if someone believes in I ain't gonna say either. shit to you if you if you ain't like. You could be religious. I ain't gonna have an argument with you unless you start talking bollocks about it. So what if I was like... And Chris- a lot of religious people do talk bollocks But what if it. I was Christian now and I was just like, yeah, I just believe in God, man. Like, Fine. Fine. You're going to hell, motherfucker. <laughs> now we've got a problem. <laughs> That's where the problem arises. Yeah. But no, have you when ever... A- have you ever... Because I've never met... I've never, ever, ever, ever in my life and I've met a fucking hundreds of religious people. I've never had one say that to me. Ever. <clears throat> That's never, ever, ever happened. I've had t- talks with them about it and they f- believe differently to me, but I've never had them say, you're going to hell. That's never happened. Okay. Fair enough. That's what I'm saying. But I've seen... Uh, I, You've got I've, YouTube, but then, yeah, you can see all that shit. Like, but then, yeah, there you go. Hmm. That's enough to get me angry. Yeah. Just gets me angry as well. I mean, I, I've, from a, from a young age, heard people saying that Jews are this and that and scum and this and that bruv so just come on like I'm not going to have an opinion on that yeah but I also have an opinion on that you know what I mean if I'm Jewish we went to school bruv the amount of flack I got for being a Jew from an 80% Muslim school yeah was it 80% Muslim I don't think it was 80% Muslim school what our school mm. we call Christ College right I know <laughs> how weird is that yeah, yeah. it was it I'd say over half was Muslim in our school. Maybe half, yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm saying that... that in the, fact, no, I don't think it was... I don't think. It was really? Right. You think less? Yeah, I think less. Okay, whatever. But, but whatever, yeah. Who gives a shit? I remember several occasions getting th- this or that said to me, yeah? Because I'm Jewish. Right? Friendly But banner. am I Jewish, though? Come on. No, but am I Jewish, bro? They're just going off the fact that that's what... Well, you used to they wear decide. a kipper, so obviously we thought you were Jewish. I didn't ever wear a kipper. It'd be great if you did. Uh, anyway. Look, it's ridiculous. Let's end it there. It's fully ridiculous. Let's move on. All right. What's I need next? to pee so badly. Can we pause, or do you, you don't want to carry again, do you? <sighs> Not in this mood, eh? you'll just offend every religion. <laughs> Should we pause? We're going to pause. We can pause. I like it. We can pause. And we're back um, before the break, which won't look like a break when you're listening to it because dicks it have been goes, drained. Pause and back. Dicks have um, been drained. So you 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 just said to me that you didn't know what an atheist was. Uh, well, I have a vague idea. A vague idea. Okay. What I'm saying is, I wouldn't uh, class my. I don't believe in God, but I wouldn't say I'm an atheist because I don't even. No one, and I hate as well, like just giving. Uh, let me give you an example. Like I hate just defining things with words that we as humans so do have I. invented. So do I. So, for example, like if you're a uh, like a uh, say if you're a kid at school and you're like a bit mischievous and you're a bit bad, and then like your mom's like, right, he's always high, and he takes the doctor. He has ADHD. I hate categorize. We as humans, we love to put people into boxes and say you're this, you're that, you do we this. We want to understand things, but it's like when you said, them, then we it's like when you, them. It's like when you said, oh. Uh, people call me a Jew, but I'm not Jewish. Like people want to put you in that box. People always want to like cat. We d- we like to, yeah, like you say, we like to understand everything. Oh, he's that. He's that. He's that. We can't say, oh, he might just be a little bit like hyper at school. That might be his personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't like that. So I don't like saying I'm an atheist. I'm this. I'm that. I am just me. Yeah. Well, an atheist is a person who disbelieves or lacks belief in the existence of God or gods. God, I'm an atheist. Put me in the box. I'm not an atheist. I'm an agnostic. A person who believes that nothing is known or can be known of the existence or nature of God. Sorry. So read me. So one person disbelieves it. The the atheist disbelieves. An atheist disbelieves God. He's a little bit more aggressive than an atheist. He's a bit more like, no, no, no. Right. And an an agnostic agnostic is saying, I don't know. I don't know, but. But didn't you just say you completely disbelieve in God, though? Before. In a religious sense, yes. 
I don't believe. Does that not make you technically no, because an atheist? I no? no, it makes me an agnostic because we were talking specifically about a religious god, right? I don't mm. know what's out there. I don't. I don't know what came before the Big Bang. I don't know what's what. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I believe in the Matrix to some extent. But then, right? does that not I believe, believe that you're open to you're open to believing that there could be a god then? If you're saying I don't I'm know, you're to open believe, to believing. I'm open be to believe all semi-logical possibilities. So that is that. So you're ruling out a god. I'm ruling out a bloke in the sky with a beard. So you're saying there could be to people. So you're saying it could be a form of a god out yes, there, but you don't know. Okay, yeah, hundred percent. That, yeah. that makes more sense. Without a problem, I'm not a problem with that. Okay, yeah, I'm I believe about. there's intelligent design in one way or another here going on. So if someone said to you, "What are you?" Would you say I'm an agnostic? Yeah, if I can remember the word, which I forget a lot of the time. Yeah. But I know I'm not an atheist. I know I'm an agnostic. Yeah. If it, although it would seem like I'm an atheist because I'm very angry. Well, that seems more if I had to class myself what I would be as well. Mm-hmm. Like I'm just saying I don't know, but I don't necessarily believe in God, but I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting that we are all... What I agree with you is we're, uh, when you talk about fear, or doesn't it? Fear might be the wrong word. We are all um, desperately trying to put reasoning behind why we're here and what we're doing here and what our purpose is i believe that too damn right we are we can't just we find we struggle to just be as we are do you know what i mean Mm-hmm. yeah like if you look at animals they just like say like a, a cat just sits around all day a wild lion will just eat things and do his thing i feel like the animals are more content to just be what they are than humans religious people are a bit more like animals you go about there, aren't you? Well, they 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 just get on with it, right? They just their their natural laws of the Bible, the same way the 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 animal follows its this that 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 that. You know, the the religious person he prays when he's supposed to pray, he does this when he's supposed to do this, he does that. You know what I mean? He's not going out there searching for answers. He thinks either he's got the answers and that's God, or that he'll be given the answers when he dies. And that's where the comfort comes from. Massively, of course. Because they believe that uh, what dissipates the with, fear they believe they're doing what's right to whatever they believe happens next, right? Kind of, yeah. So in that, they find comfort. Mm-hmm. They, a lot of people in religion must find comfort. Oh, hell yeah. Damn mm-hmm. right, man. But I think religion is in some ways the easy option. Brendan Sharp it's tells the, her... Right. Everything's been answered 2,000 years ago, so I don't need to think anymore. Brendan Sharp told a story once, and I... And I remember thinking this before as well he said mm. <laughs> he's in the locker room in uh brazil fighting a dude called nagera and he said he can remember before the fight uh looking across the locker room and the dude standing like a few feet away from him yeah. and he said all his team are like huddled and like holding hands and they're like don't worry uh like jesus is with us uh it's god has decided what's going to happen already in this fight there's nothing i can do and he said i was standing there shitting myself because i'm about to fight some guy yeah and he's like i remember thinking like fuck i wish i believed in that he's like i just don't but i wish i did i wish i believed in yeah religion in god i promise you your life would be easier if you were religious of course it would bro i just said it's the easy option bro. yeah it is the easy option i wish my brain didn't think a bit more I don't you know, know if it's mean? the easiest option, but I know it's, it's the uh, easiest it's option, a, bro. You don't have to worry about shit. It's a convenient. What well, are you worried about? Well, you still have life worries, but yeah, you you have more, um, like you have more of like a reasoning behind why things happen, or <coughs> sorry, or why you do certain things. Like, God, I would do. I kind of do wish I believed in it in a way. Of course, but ignorance is bliss. But I just, I yeah, it's like you say. There's like um. There's just too many parts that I just disagree with, man. With what? Religion. With religion, yeah. Well, yeah cause There's just re- too many things. I can't turn a blind eye to too much. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It's 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 at its core, it's it's a control tactic, it's hypocritical, it's fucking uh-huh. <sighs> tyrannical. <laughs> it's terrible. You're tyrannical. I'm not. You'd be a great tyrant. I would. You know what you remind me of? Like a czar from back in Russia. Yavol! That's German. Czar. That's still. I'm going to call you the czar. I'll take it. The czar. The czar some current, do I have current events? Maybe I uh, planned... Um, mm. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, good. What have you done now? I just thought it was a friend's birthday, but I um, realized it wasn't. Good. 
I had a moment of panic. Is that have you ever done that? Forgot, oh my god! Did I tell you about the time I forgot my mum's birthday? Wasn't that quite recently? No, it was. No. Uh, oh fuck! I think I was about fourteen, or maybe like thirteen, and I just completely forgot, man. I don't know what happened. Just didn't remember. Uh, and someone from her work rang me, yeah, and oh. was like, "Oh, Tom." And so my mum has obviously mentioned like the. She was like, "Oh, like it's your mum's birthday." I was like, fuck, <laughs> just felt so bad, man. I remember like that fear, just like that dread just like fills your body. You're like, shit, yeah. man. Like they do Fun, so man. much for you. The one day you have to remember like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's poor work there. So. I ran to the park and picked flowers, I think. Did you? Yeah. That's nice. That's cute. Well, that's what the woman said to me. She goes, run to the park now, get some flowers. I think I did it. Forgetting <laughs> mm. birthdays ain't cool, man. I think when you're older with anniversaries and shit, you're going to forget. Ugh. But no, I still don't know me and Faye's anniversary. I ask her every time when it approaches. Does I know she remember your up. anniversary? Yeah. Do you celebrate uh, anniversaries? No. Do you do like gifts and stuff? Or? No. Maybe go out for dinner, but that's it. A gift. Bro. Gifts is a tough one. I was saying on the last one, what to get this girl for her birthday, mm. which is today. Happy birthday. Yeah, I went for the watch, man. Did you? Mm. Did you actually? Yeah. Okay. Get on you, sir. I'm just so fucking rich. <laughs> Was that a bad choice? I oh, know. That's really nice. It's good. <laughs> Why are you putting that face if it's a good idea, man? What do you mean? I said it's a good idea. <laughs> Jordan's, Jordan's pulling a face right now. <laughs> but should suggest it, wasn't it? Well, you don't think it's a good idea? Oh, she'll love it. Yeah, she liked it, man. Oh, you already gave it to her? Mm. Oh, I'm sure she liked it. I gave it to her on... Uh, a couple of days before. Obviously, I don't ones. know how much you spent on it, so that's all. But obviously you that's guess a number and I'll say high or low, but you only get one guess. Okay. 200. Less. I only get that guess. That's it. I'm done. All right, one more. 100. More. Yeah. That's it. That's your ballpark. All right. That's cool. Yeah. I can deal with that. Yeah, man. I mean, bro, I bought a fucking bulldog for one guy. That was like 13. That's a six-year relation, bro. Not at the time. At the time, it was like two years or one nah. and a half. Years. Yes, it was. It stretched back to like year eight. Oh, bro. yeah, but that doesn't count. Of course it does. Really? Of course it does. I don't count. If I if I counted, you were in each other's lives for like ten years, bro. But so, so that means I have to count all the girlfriends I've had when I was like 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Huh? If you count a uh, girlfriend I had when I was like fourteen, yeah, bro. Then I have to you, count all if the. You, if you were sort of. Going out with a girl when you were 14, yeah? yeah, on and off until your mid 20s, yeah, mm. that's a 10 year relationship in some ways, yeah. I guess that's not like you know what I mean, I guess. Mm. When you saw it, when you got that bulldog, that wasn't just based off the last two years, <laughs> yeah. you had a relationship that yeah, stemmed yeah, yeah. quite far, you true know, that. Yeah. true. That. We're just lucky little ladies getting herself a little Cartier watch, <laughs> it wasn't Cartier. <laughs> It was a uh, Mark Jacobs piece. Oh, how lovely! That was very divine. <laughs> divine. Um, so, what was our current mm. events? Oh fuck! I forgot. Because to we that. went to birthday. I started asking about forgetting, but yeah, I'm so sorry. I thought someone forgot their birthday. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me check. Oh, I did have a couple. Oh, he's got a couple. Just a couple. He's got a couple. Not really current. Are they kind of current events? I just oh, thought it was interesting. Current events. Well, one you'll have no opinion on. Currently was, uh, happening. <clears throat> one was um. Ronda Rousey's joined WWE. Has she? Yeah. She gone for the money and full less, time less, contract. Less punches to the face, more money. Mm-hmm. Great shout. Good on her, Ronda. How good? Do you not think that's so good, man? Great, great. Mm-hmm. I feel like everyone's a. Some of them love fighting, but everyone's aim who uh, fights for a living should be to obviously make as much money and then and then leave, or if you can, look for other. <coughs> Like ventures, do you know what I mean? of course, man. Take as least punches to the head as possible. That's ideal. That's ideal. <laughs> I mean, ideal is don't take any punches to the head. Correct. But in your line of work, it's take the least amount possible. Yeah, and make the most money. Yeah, that's why Mayweather is just the blue. Unless you love it, bro. Unless you like taking, you know, hard dick to the face. Hard dick to the face. Um. Yeah, well, good on Ronda. Mm-hmm. I hope she makes plenty of money and doesn't get hurt. Yeah, they were saying how um she can't really come back to MMA anymore 
Why? Just because of the losses and this and that. Well, not even that, but just like, if she comes back, the girl who is the champion knocked her out in one round. Mm. Uh, the girl who's up there challenging is the girl who head kicked her and knocked her out in the second round. Mm. And then the other champion is Cyborg, who's... Insane. Insane. Correct. Yeah. So... Yeah. Where does she go? And then, like, like she's not going to come back and fight, like, the number 10. It's got to be, like, a super fight. So, like, what's she going to do? Like, So, she's probably done, man. Why would she go back either? You know what I mean? Like, what else is there? Like, She's famous enough now to make money elsewhere. Well, she was already doing films. Yeah, there you go. She's on, like, some action movies. And shit. I haven't seen her in a film, but I know she was doing films. So. Yeah. Good on her, She had a lot of the uh, girls in the who are in the UFC now have her to thank for that, man. Yeah, I'm sure. Did you know Dana White said there'll never be a, a female fighter in the UFC? What? Dana White, before Ronda, said there will never, ever be a female fighter in the UFC. That's years ago he said that, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And look what she did. She became the biggest star in the UFC. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool, man. Yeah. He was talking about how she listened to him about not getting tattoos. Oh, really? He said that she's one of the only fighters who ever listened to him. I did see that, yeah. So no one else listened to him. He said, "He's so real." He said, man. "He said when <laughs> when Connor was talking about getting the gorilla on his stomach, the uh, tiger. The, oh yeah, the tiger. Sorry, and he was going, please don't, no. like, please don't. That's so like, please don't.' And he's going, uh, and he <laughs> he goes that with other people, they sort of have a, a a conversation about that. Connor just looks at him and just went, "You're too old." To yeah, understand. literally. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's weird about his? He has like. It's literally the equivalent of you getting Cat's K tattooed on your chest. Mm-hmm. Like he has a tiger and then McGregor. McGregor, yeah. I feel like there's certain tattoos, I ain't saying it looks good, but there's certain tattoos you can only get if you're famous. 100%. And get away with without being bullied. Yeah. Like if you had a fucking tiger on your belly, say tomorrow I came in, I said, George, look at my new tattoo. It was a tiger on my belly with Harper across it. You'd be like, what the fuck? Okay, are but you if doing? Conor McGregor wasn't famous and he was our mate, yeah, but you're still the same bloke. Yeah. He's still a very angry, violent man. No one's going to take the piss out of him, really. And if they do, they're getting licked on the face. No, but like his friends. Different person. But what I'm saying is, if you look on like social media, like people get terrorized for certain things. Yeah. He doesn't get terrorized for his tattoos. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Did Mike Tyson ever get terrorized with a face tat? I'm sure he did. Yeah, a little bit. But I'm sure a lot of people say that Connor's tattoo is horrible. I've never met anyone that likes it. There you go. Apart from myself. <laughs> uh, I don't mind the chess one. The chess one's okay. But the, the chess one? Like the gorilla. Oh, well, that's the one I was talking about. The gorilla. C- get up his toes. Quick. That's the like. one that Dana was talking about. The, f- the gorilla with like the machine guns. Right. Yeah, because when he started the it's not the machine guns, it's a gorilla with a crown on eating a heart. But there's kind of like some relevance because his uh, gym logo is a gorilla kind of relevant yeah but he's probably just done it because he's got a tattoo yeah go on that one <laughs> that is an awful awful tattoo they zoom both in on the, can you zoom in um, do you know what is the worst bit about the tiger one is the uh, the grass either side of it oh my god yeah that's so bad it just looks like blobs of green like so we're looking at Conor McGregor's tattoos um, I, see, I don't mind in. the chess one man yeah, there you go. You don't mind that? Nah, see, I think that looks quite cool, man. Like, Look at the state of that crown, bro. Half of that crown ain't on the gorilla's head. Yeah, but that's because he's like this. Huh? That's because he's like that. Oh, on the head, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant it. The, the tattoo don't change with the angle. Of course it does. Oh, it doesn't, I'm, bro. I'm not saying the fucking, the crown's not on the head. I'm saying he's turned like that, so the crown is straight. Is what I thought you were saying the crown's bent. I'm saying the crown's not on his head. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it, I get it, I get it. What's this crap here? It's like, like, like... Oh, it's an awful tattoo. It's definitely out there, man. It's out there. Definitely out there. It's awfully out there. The tiger's sick how it's done. Like, look at that tiger's eyes. Yeah, man. It's a well-done tattoo. That looks cool. (sighs) I mean... Look at the eyes. This... It's... Oh, wow. It's just a no-no. As well, you're just saying goodbye to your abs, man. No one can ever see your abs ever again. It's true. It's true. 
<laughs> That's fake, isn't it? Classic. No, it's not. <laughs> is it not? No. <coughs> Conor Gregory is naked, posing with his toes. We're going down a weird yeah, we're route there. Our way we're now looking at random naked faces. men. How long ago was this then? Uh, that was when he fought uh, Barrow. No touch. Yeah. yeah, he had one down his back, down his spine. Mm. He's always had the spine one. If anything, the spine one is worse than the other two. I think the is one it? on the one on his back. I think so. Yeah, it looks way more like sort of fucking. I don't even know the word. Isn't that one just like Chinese writing or something? No, it's like a. Like a weird, it looks like barbed wire going down his spine. Yeah, type in back. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind that as much as the other. Oh, things. really? Not as much as the other one. Not as much as like that crap. Is that real? Some other guy's got no his exact tattoo. I hope to God that's not real. No. What does it say here? N- yeah, Mike Swick dot com. There was a guy at the weigh in who who uh, printed out McGregor's tattoo and like stuck it onto his chest. Yeah, they were at the same weigh in, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's like a video of uh Connor at the back just like cracking up. Uh, See that MMA digest, yeah? This guy got the tattoo. Jesus man. Do you know what else is apart from getting the exi- the exact same tattoo as another guy, it's never done as good. It always looks a little different. Yeah. So it looks weird. Go to the guy uh Go to the guy. Say, go down. <laughs> uh, where am I is going? that real? No. What? Ed Sheeran with a tattoo. That- oh, it might be. No, it no is idea. real. Yeah, that's real. Is it? Yeah, it looks fucking real. Does it? It looks bare weird, man. It looks like it's photoshopped here. We'll look at that after. Ed Sheeran could do with doing a few sit-ups. I'm not going to lie. Go to where it says MMA Digest. Apparently, that's the guy who he copied the look of, innit? What he copied this guy's look? They reckon so. There's a possibility. Yeah. He used to have less tattoos, but yeah, like that. Cody Nobrand's a beautiful man. Put get him up. Go back. A beautiful man. He looks like a prick though. Um. Yeah. Anyway, what was your other? Um, I've got a hard semi right now. Yeah. Um. Can't remember. Oh yeah, Ed Sheeran tattoos type that. No, but what's your other? Um, Oh, my other current event. Current event. I need to know if it's real. Yeah, it is real. Look, there's a hundred pictures of it. Ed Sheeran's got a Lyon. A Lyon. Has he, though? A Lyon. Is that actually... That's not real. I don't know. Anyway, we've been had a go at for uh, our internet browsing. When yeah, no one knows what we're sorry, looking at. George. Sorry, George. Sorry, George. Um, there was uh, I wanted to discuss the Arsenal transfer window, man. Mm-hmm. Now it's shut. Mm-hmm. What your thoughts are mm. on the old window, on an above average window for the uh, as an Arsenal fan? Yeah, I suppose it was above average. Yeah, is that what you got to say on it? Yeah? Don't expand, mate. Don't don't. Uh, <laughs> you're boring us with words. Yeah, so you'd be the worst pundit, innit? Shit, really. Well, if we talk about Arsenal, I'll just, I, I have to bite my tongue constantly. Go talk about Arsenal how you talk about religion. Go. That's I feel like how you're I a little yoke. Do you know how I get good uh, content out of you? I just jab the bear, poke the bear. Religion's real, poke the bear. How I, Wenger in. Dave, religion Wenger is in. real. Poke the bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's all right. You know, we got Bamiang. <laughs> Bamiang and. Mkhitaryan. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to give you the sale or the purchase and you have to rate the business mm. from Arsenal out of 10. Mm. Coquelin to Valencia, 12 million. 7. Giroud to Chelsea, 18 million. 2. 2. Yeah, you sold to our rival club, you mug. What, our f- fourth choice striker? Uh, 20 million, 31 million. I'd say our second top scorer this season. But still fourth choice our striker. Our second top scorer this season. But fourth choice striker. Who scores more than our second, third choice strikers? Oh, did you rate Giroud, yeah? I thought he was all right. I didn't rate him. He was our main striker for five years and, did, and was terrible, I thought. 
Very average. Yeah, he's average. Mm-hmm. You'd play a Lacazette and a Batman over Giroud. <clears throat> Don't know. What? You'd play Giroud over a Bamiang. Don't know. I ain't seen him properly yet. Don't know what his deal is. No, okay, I wouldn't, yeah, but no, yes, it's still, you. as far as I'm concerned, shit business. Okay, that's fair enough. Setting to a rival again. I was just yeah. saying to your dad, we sold Ox to Liverpool, mm-hmm. Giroud to Chelsea, mm-hmm. Sanchez to Man U. Mm-hmm. It's the same cycle, just giving our players. Walcott to Everton. You, you know what, weirdly, that's exactly what your dad said. He goes, Walcott to Everton. I was like, huh? He's like, well, they're around us. They are. Very much so. Joe Arsenal conceded more goals than West Brom. Bottom yep. of the league, West Brom. Did you know that? But it's good that we're, we're, we're stocking up on strikers. Yeah. yeah it's Don't good. need a defender. Nah. Well, we bid eight million for Johnny Evans. So. Oh well, it's good we're bidding for one of the top Premier League defenders. Bring in the other worst defense in the league. <laughs> Where's That's he from? Rob West Holding. Brom. He's from West Brom. Yeah, bottom, bottom of the league. league. Wow. Okay. Cool. Well, we've all fucking Rob nice. Holding nice. from relegated. No, no, it's nice. It's nice. It's good. It's good business. Um, what, yeah. Do you know what's depressing? Imagine Holding and Evans. You know that. what's depressing? That Walcott and that Walcott alone will mm. score more than Abamyang for the rest of this. Well, season. we have a bet, right? So we have a bet. Uh, a lunch bet mm-hmm. Jordan has got I think this is a terrible bet on your behalf we'll jo- see. Jordan has bet that Walcott and Giroud. Giroud will score more goals from February but we're giving you Theo's two Damn right. the other day so Theo and Giroud will score more goals than Lacazette Mkhitaryan Aubameyang and there's one more was there? yeah there's four it wasn't there is. That was us. That's us. No, there's four. There's uh, there's uh, and Ozil. I didn't say Ozil. You are. Hun- I promise you said Ozil. I read it down at my house. So you I did say. not say Ozil. Ozil was not part of that. Yes, because I said we. Su- it was because I said. Yeah, yes, it on. was because I, my argument was those front four are the best in the league now, and you were like, oh fuck off, da da da, and I said, look at our window. I said we signed a bang, we signed thing, we signed thing, and we've kept Ozil, and you were like, oh, like I promise you, those. That's what you said. All right. Anyway, I, I couldn't care less. I'm still going to win that bet with Ozil or without Ozil. So I've got Ozil, Bamiang, Lacazette. Why can't I remember four names? Ozil, Bamiang, right. Lacazette, and Mkhitaryan. Mm-hmm. And you have Walcott and Giroud. I'm going to add Oxley Chamberlain into that as well. Well, you don't just you can't change the bet now. You don't walk back into the bookie and say sorry, mate. I've uh, forgot. Well, bookie say no, Jordan. You're not a bookie, sir. So. I'm a private bookie. I'm running an illegal gambling site. Well, good place to put it on blast. You can have fucking ox. Thanks. I'm giving you ox. Thank you. You can have ox. Well, I just gave you Ozil. And hey, you can have Cockland as well. All right. <laughs> I don't no, want Cockland. No, you can't. Goal scorer. Have you heard who's training with us again? Oh, don't tell me. Former player? Oh, yeah. It's good to have him back. Give me a position. Midfield. Midfield. Centre midfield. Kind of defensive. but If you say Flamini, I'm going to bust. No, you're not Flamini. He already had his leave and come back. Yeah, that's moment. what I was saying. Um, Didn't he leave, come back, leave, come back? I'm not sure. Isn't he a billionaire? He twice. Now? Isn't Flamini a billionaire? Now? So we hear, I don't know, it might be all internet chatter. True. Uh, pass, tell me. Uh, Alexander Song. He's back now. Well, just training with us, just because he's a free agent or something. <laughs> you know what that means? What? We will sign Song. 100% we will sign so Song. We'll, we'll, yeah, okay, but we'll sign him... Well and truly, five years after we should have signed him. Well, we after really we should have, well, five years after we should have given him the contract extension that he really wanted. I was pissed when we sold him. Man. So was I. Do you know why I get pissed? Because we persevere with guys like him, yeah, when they're shit, and then they have that one good year, and then we sell them. We do it with like Kleb and shit. Like he just came, as they he came, came asking for them. a five-year deal. Supposedly, we don't know if this is always true, but yeah. Well, then come out and say it's not true, isn't it? I'm only hearing his side, bro. Who? Songs. What do we Wenger know? never came out and said, no, 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 no. He didn't ask. He well, didn't Barcelona want to spend time wanted him, so he wanted to leave. Yeah, Barcelona. No, Barcelona put in an offer for him. Yeah. And then he said, boss, I've got an offer for Barcelona for a five-year allegedly deal. Allegedly, he said. Yeah. We they, don't know this. Well, allegedly, he said, I'm being offered five years at Barcelona, but I want to stay here. I've got two years left on my contract. Can I have a five-year deal? So my future is guaranteed. So I don't even believe that. Why would he want to stay no. us over Barcelona? Because he liked us. Did he? And he was probably smart enough to know he wasn't going to get a game at Barca. Well, yeah. What happened since he went to Barca? He ended up like Birmingham. What happened to Nasri? 
Man's a free agent now. <laughs> well, he went to City, not uh, Barca. Yeah, but what, but now he's a free agent. Uh, he just got his contract got terminated by the Turkish league, club. Yeah, Turkish mm-hmm. and a couple of Was it Turkey? I thought he went to Iran, or was that mm, maybe not him? You know who was random? This is so random. But I, uh, you know, Pires ended up playing in the Indian Football League. He was playing for fucking Aston Villa. He was forty-one. He played, I think. Really? So random, yeah. He legend retired from like the Indian Premier League. Absolute legend. Anyway, let's of the finish game. what we're doing. So uh, Giroud, you're giving a two for yeah, business. business. Coquelin yeah. a seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, Theo to Evan for twenty. Yeah, that's an eight. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Also because I like Theo. And I'm glad that he gets to go get some games. Yeah. Because I feel like we've kind of really messed him around at Arsenal for like 10 years. He might not have always been great, but we've messed him around. Have we messed him around or has he just He's never been mismanaged. a position? He's yeah, been mismanaged, he bro. Been mismanaged. He's, you know, if you're a good manager, you go, right, this is the position. This is your attributes are right for this position. That's where I play you. Not I'm going to change your position every six months. Uh-huh. Yeah, but then to be fair, he came out and said, I'm a striker. And then a year later, came out and said, I'm a winger. But you think that the club fucking media team aren't telling him what to say to the media? You no, think I don't he, think so. You think they're letting him come out and say, oh, there's, there's, you think there's no yeah. discussions going on they about that? They can't make him he say anything. He is the most media trained player we have. Yeah, but you can't make him say something he doesn't want to say. He can say, no, I'm not saying that. I don't think, I don't think Wenger said, please, I don't think Wenger gives a fuck. I don't think he respects people's opinions enough to be like, oh, the, the people are saying that we've done this wrong. Can you come on? I don't think he gives a fuck. He's way more arrogant. No, than he doesn't. He's not doing it for the. Well, you. Theo didn't come out and change his position because he thought the fans would like to hear that. No, no, that's it. Wenger doesn't give a shit what the fans are saying. He still knows what he's going to say to the media, bro. So you're just saying. So you're. So you're not saying Wenger told him to say that. That I'm now. I'm back to being a right winger. No, I'm saying Wenger put him back on the right wing and that's what Theo said because yeah. inevitably that's what Wenger had done to his career. Mm-hmm. You know, he'd been crying out to be a striker for years and then he got put back on the wing and then it's like, right, I'm did a winger we, now. Did we ever give him like a fair go as being no. a striker? No. Like give him a season up front? No, we gave him a few months and up also, front. He got injured, came back, back on the wing. But also give him a a season, like give it, like Theo, I can't see him as like a lone striker. Like do you remember the few games where he had Arshavin up front by himself and he was just terrible, he was too small. Theo, like imagine Theo and Giroud up front together. That sounds could like work. something that could work. Yeah. Man. Like if you think of like the little, like, you know, you used to do that. Is Red Nap? He'd always have like Crouch and Defoe, one big dude, one little, little large, work, big man. chef, little chef, bro. Mm-hmm. So like, me and you work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big dick, mm-hmm. little dick, man. It just it, we, it works, bro. It's funny how the little dick was on the big guy and the big dick was on the little guy. The big dick it's strange, was on it? the little guy. Anyway, um, yeah. Theo, good business, really. I'm glad for him. He might get in the England squad if he f- carries the form he's carried already. I now. think, uh, well, he needs more than that. But I think well, uh, he's got an assist and two goals in two games. Yeah, but he needs to do more than two games. He hasn't played. Um, yeah, cool. He's not got much competition in that England <laughs> squad, though. Sterling, man. Sterling's been a beast this season. Yeah, Sterling, but then who else? He's calling squad. him a. What, where are we saying he plays? Who, Theo? Wing. On the wing. Uh, do you know what? I, d- I barely watch England, so I couldn't even tell you. I'm just there's there's not much competition on those wings. Rashford, Sterling, Oxley, Chamberlain, Ox, Theo. Um, if Spurs got any English wingers? Mm, not really. Yeah. World Cup year, man. I forgot about that. Uh, but yeah. But I just think uh, I Theo's good decent business. You know what's yeah. a valid point as well. Ops clearing out these business. players that aren't motivated to play for Wenger and don't want to be there because no there's one definitely to players play that are motivated for him. Well, the new players should be. Should they? Yeah. Why? Because they've signed Who? for him. Aubameyang, Mkhitaryan, Ozil. Now he's signed. Let's let us let us let us be let's not beat around the bullshit bush. Yeah, mm-hmm. Lacazette didn't want to come to us. Okay. No, I'm not uh, saying Lacazette. I'm all saying right, the fine. New I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying Lacazette didn't want to come to us. Ozil. <laughs> Had no intention of staying there unless he got the money he wanted. Right? Yeah, but that's the same for like 99% of footballs at every club, right? Yeah, but still stand by the fact that he's not playing for the club. He's playing for the money. Um, but he should still be motivated. He's signed a club, new deal. He's got the money he wants. Cool. Let's go. I don't care why you're motivated, just as long as you are motivated. 
Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Aubameyang should want to be there. Uh, and also new signings like that they, they inject life into this dead team man do you know what I mean Mkhitaryan doesn't want to be us. Uh, he just wants to play some football yeah but again that's still a motivation his motivation is to play yeah okay <laughs> none of the, it still gets back to the point none of them want to play for Vanguard no that is the key point <laughs> they want it. money and a kickabout that's all it is mm-hmm. the only player that wants to play Vanguard is possibly a Bami. Don't Let's sh- be real. Don't shake Let's be real here. Yeah. Look, the whole world knows the state of Arsenal Football Club. Yeah. No one is sitting there thinking, wow, there's a club that's doing well for itself right now. No. Right? It's weird. One thing that is weird is we're such a laughing stock, but there's a club's doing worse than us and they don't get any shit. Like. Because we are mismanaged on so many levels. Mm. It's not just we're not doing well. Wilshire still has five months left. He's not tied down yet. So this summer it's, it was uh, Wilshire, Chamberlain, Sanchez Ozil, yeah? Mm. You could argue that that's 200 million, near enough 200 million pounds worth of players in the last year of a contract. If you value Sanchez at like, uh, if Morris is 90 million, how much is fucking Sanchez? Yeah. 120? 100? Mm-hmm. Coutinho was 100 and what? 20? Mm. Sanchez is better than Coutinho. Mm. What's Older. Ozil? What's Ozil? It's got to be 50. Ox went for 40. Has Ozil picked up value since coming to us? Yeah. Why? Because of the market. Oh, yeah, okay. Because yeah, yeah. Laporte yeah, 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 60 yeah, yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. No, fair enough. Yeah, fair like, enough. I know what you mean. He hasn't got any better, but yeah, he's yeah. definitely... No, I agree. Right. Yeah, you're right. He's yeah. 50, 40 million. So it's just, that's over 200 million pounds worth of, of uh, players that are just in the last year of a deal that we have mm-hmm. no idea what they're doing. We give them all the power. Like, it's so fucking... I don't know how it happens, man. Does no one think, like, oh, shit... Sanchez knows will both have 18 months on their deal. Let's offer them something. Uh, bro, Wenger fucking changing his formation every other week, yeah? But it's not back to his formation. It's just copying other people's formations. We're the back man, to, you know what the I'm man don't know about. what he's doing. That's we're why back, it's a joke. We're back to that fucking one up front, two winger bullshit yes. with three centre mid, yes. one holding it. Yes. Never fucking works. Yes, yes. 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 You know, Sam Allardyce plays his tactics, bro. You know what you I mean? love Big Sam, innit? What is your Big boner Sam. about Big Sam? You Does the love job, Danny. Does you the job, Big Sam. Does the job. He's a dirty man. Little fraudster. I like little Sam better. Sammy Lee. Legend. Legend. I think he's with Big <laughs> Sam at Evan. Uh, yeah, he is. Yep. They're beautiful. Big Sam, little oh, Sam. Man. It's definitely something homosexual going on there. <laughs> Big Sam and little Sam. Right, guys. You rapping? Well, it's actually, I think this might be the longest one we've ever done. We went hard on religion. We spoke about religion for an hour. Yeah. I like it. 45 minutes. I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Disclaimer, if you were offended by Jordan's views in this podcast... <laughs> then don't worry about it, because I'm going to hell and you're going to heaven. So it's all Correct. good, right? Correct. So really, you have no reason to be offended. I'm just doing what the infidel does, which Correct. is disbelieve. We're a couple of infidels. So all I'm doing is falling into your trap, too. <coughs> Should probably sort this cough out. Shouldn't worry, guys. Don't worry. At the end of the day, God will smite us all. Goodbye, ants. Mic drop.